from the depths of the deep ocean, Godzilla comes out to attack the spider. His little buddy. All right. Check it out to the end. We just made this. Right on. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to do another diorama. But this one, a little bit different. Let me just show you. So, we got ourselves Godzilla. Godzilla. All right. So we downloaded Godzilla. It took 16 hours to print this. So small. There's nothing in it. That's okay. So what we're going to do, let me just turn you What we're going to do is we're going to build a diorama of, like I've seen this on the internet. I thought it was pretty cool. We're going to do our own little, you know, whatever to it. So um, I was looking at it this way. And, uh, and this is going to be like a big rock, uh, kind of an island rock thing. We're going to attack it. And then we're going to cut out all this. And then we're going to just put epoxy in there. This time it's not going to spill because we're not going to go as deep that it's going to go right through. So he's going to be standing in water attacking this. We're printing out some barrels right now, some nuclear waste barrels that are going to be in here. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn Godzilla around this way and put this on this side so that you could see more of him. So we airbrushed him and then um, I didn't show you that process because it was time consuming. And uh, yeah, and then what I did was I just added, I just had some uh, resin and I just leaked it all over the place so it looks kind of shiny. You know what, if I knew how to cast and stuff like that, I would have cut all this out and I would have recasted this in see-through and shove the light up his ass and then you would see that it would look so much neater but yeah maybe later on in the future we'll figure that out but uh so yeah just imagine this is on this side kind of thing and he's looking well whatever it's like turning it around but i'd rather have this way because then you could see more how godzilla looks like this than the other way so this is just drying you see i put the the hammer of richard on there and because this piece i wanted to add a little bit more hype to it I'm still trying to figure out what shape I want and even maybe, uh, I don't know, adding some, like, there's a reason why he's attacking it. There's gotta be something like nuclear something, maybe put some bombs in there or something. I don't know, something like if he ever came back, they'd blow him up. I don't know, little ideas happening. So anyway, let's, uh, we'll have to wait for this to dry and that to get printed. So I'll be back. So again, we're gonna thank Proxon. And we're basically they're sponsoring this video because they've given us the tools to use. So we've always got to thank them. We're gonna do a little bit of cutting. Um, you wanna make sure that your wire's tight. And when you press it, you can hear it. You can feel it vibrating, but you can also see that it turned red. Now, one of the things that if you see it turning red and it's kind of like loose, it's just, it means it's too loose for anything. So you really want to get that tight. Um, could be because you don't have enough wire or these aren't tight enough and you really want it tight. All right, so we're just going to go about and cut. Because um, our, our box only cuts so big at a time. So we're just going to take pieces off. A little bit, and we're going to keep all these little staggered pieces because they're always good to add to our project. Probably would have been better if we used a bigger prox on. Whoops. And because, and if you hit tape, that's what happens. So we have to fix that. Anyways. So we switched to the larger piece. It makes more sense because we've got such a wide piece to play with here. So all you do with this one is turn it on. The same thing. This way you could use it to go all across. And do one swoop all the way down where you want it to go. This piece is great for doing huge dioramas, cutting styrofoam. Now, if there's a, like I said tape earlier, it's not tape, it's glue. There's hot glue, or I use wood glue on this. And what happens is that the wood glue is too, hey, it's too hard, right? And, uh, it won't cut through this properly. 
so you have to really be careful. And this machine stays on, so you have to really be careful when you're playing with it. Okay, so we're gonna just do it like this here. Once it hits the glue, it has a harder time going through and it'll end up snapping. That's what happened on the last one, so I try not to do that too often. Then we're gonna work a little bit on the sides. So we, you can see we, we sort of have a, a shape that we want. Kind of weird because you're trying to go two different ways without over, over cutting everything. I'm trying to make like a little ranch system here. Take this piece off. So now we got, we got a pretty nice little base there. We're gonna work on the bottom a little bit. Sort of have it sticking out and up. And remember, if you cut too much off, you can always add it back. All right, that's just, that's not hard. We're just gonna try to get a little bit of a funky look here. All right, let me just clean this up. I'll break All right, so we're looking at something like this. Remember I told you I was gonna turn it around? Something like that. So that's just the starting. Now what we're gonna do is figure out how much and how deep we wanna put our Godzilla in so that we can pour the resin. So the plan is to just basically cut the perimeter, but in the inside, dig all that stuff out. And we're gonna still use our Proxon. I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna measure him so like he's stepping into about maybe an inch in. So we'll say something like that. Where is my marker? So we're just gonna do, say, say about that much. That's all we want to take out to the whole diorama. Um, we wanna keep the lip though, so that when we pour, we'll tear that out after and then sand it down and we'll see what happens. All right, let me set that up. So we dug it out, or I dug it out, you can see. And um, again, just to be on the safe side, plus we want to stiff it up, is we did the Mod Podge and the paint and the water, you know, kind of thing, and they'll part it up. It's still a little bit kind of like damp because I took a hair dryer to it. Um, I just want to continue with the project, so, it, but that's okay because the next step, and the reason I'm going to do this is I really don't want the epoxy to fail this time. So a lot of other creators uh, who do diorama use a form of culling and stuff like that. This is what I use. It's wood filler. Nice and wet, gooey wood filler. Now, all I'm gonna do is just add this to our project. Now, all it's gonna do is it's gonna harden in there and it's gonna not allow any kind of liquid or should not allow any kind of liquid to pass through it. Uh, we hope not, because we had that fail in the last video. And uh, it'll also add texture to the ground that we're going to use um, as in what we're using this for, right? So just by adding a little bit, doesn't have to be a lot, just a good amount of wood filler. We're just going to sploosh this everywhere we can. Try to fill in some of the, some of the bigger, deeper cracks because um, another thing is if you dig too deep and you don't have that much shop kitty, you don't have that much um, epoxy because epoxy is expensive guys don't I see those videos where those guys use uh, uh, you know there's I can't call it's called mini bricks and all that and they're from China so there's a company that can afford to use epoxy and waste it and whatever they do well this guy doesn't waste if he can't if he doesn't have to that other project's not thrown in the garbage I'll tell you that it will look like something later on so like I said, just fill in the cracks, get it in there. So, um, you know, like I said, we want this to harden and then this way we could start, you know, adding our Godzilla, our kind of a uh, rock foundation. And then uh, we could start even the pour or adding something. It doesn't matter, we'll figure it out. Let me fill this up, let it dry. 
probably by tomorrow and we'll get back. all right guys so i went ahead and did a little bit more i should have taped or recorded it but of course you know that it works i dug two holes put some wooden like a plank in there put a big spider a couple of barrels some hot glue to represent it oozing really bad all right don't worry about uh, what the ground looks like because when the epoxy comes into play it won't look like this you probably will see a lot different so we got godzilla heading towards her i guess he doesn't like the spider um still trying to figure out if i want to put something here though i'm not sure if i should put uh i might just put a giant spider there or something like that something different something they're gonna fight i don't know let's uh let's figure that out i'll see if i got one All right, on. yeah we had to we put the big spider on there i think it looks cool hold on i change my hand here so what i'm gonna do is just add some hot glue and make it look like it's part of his web a little bit of paint to it too just to get that white look out of there i'm just trying to get a lot of wisps going on here you don't want them they're there when you want them they're not there all right put that down so what do you think i like the spider i really do spider just looks like godzilla is gonna really get into it with something all right we'll continue going on right now oh. we're gonna do a little bit of dry brushing of white just to add a little bit of flavor to our rocks <laughs> just looking for like highlights because we're still gonna add some grass to this too eh? just sort of brightens it up just a bit so it doesn't look so dull all I'm going to do is just take the white, just wipe it off as much as I can. And then drag a brush. Just around it. All right, I'll continue this now. So if all goes well tomorrow, we are going to do the pour, the epoxy pour. So... This is what we did. We just added some green shit. And Godzilla, I don't know, he's looking downwards. He should have been looking maybe upwards. But I ain't gonna put him on a cliff, that's for sure. So he's just he's just waiting for the spider to come down. He's mad. Toxic. Another spider. Alright, so let's hope tomorrow this dries. And then we're gonna go with the pour. So stay tuned for that. All right, so we're going to start off with a small pour. This is just going to sort of base coat the bottom. And then we're going to add our Godzilla. So we got this a little bit green, but that's okay. The next pour, we're going to go more of a blue. So we're we'll mixing this for a good two, three minutes. And this one, we're not really worried about bubbles because it will add to the water effect. All right, so here we go. We're just going to... Just randomly everywhere. Get as much as we can out. Don't want to waste the stuff. And then all I want to do is give this a little tilt back and forth. Everything gets a little bit of coating. You can see that I'm just trying to get it all touched everywhere. This will become our base coat for our diorama. All the way to the back too if we can. See how it's flowing. Just keep it at a good angle. It shouldn't flow overboard. <laughs> I don't want it to come off the sides. This way it covers 
everything. It gets all the little corners in, plus it mixes up the epoxy really well. Now you can see that it's covered quite a bit of it, and that's what we want. We want it to cover it so that we can, um, it can harden, and then the next pour we know for sure won't be an issue of any leaking, which there won't be. We sealed it pretty good. So then all you want to do is take your Godzilla and place them where you want them to go. And have them like go here, because that's the farthest we can go. He's kind of looking at the rock here more than anything, but that's okay. You get the concept of what we're doing. And then that's it. We're going to let it set and dry. So this should take, it should take about, you know, it says about 12 hours, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what that, how that works. Try to get most of the other stuff out. We can leak some more in Godzilla here, so we know it's going to stick. There we go. Get yourself a little spatula. You can. Good to have. We're going to make our own little, oops, on my pants. A little stick for it. And this way you'll get all the remaining resin out. It's a little bit more difficult, but it works better. So let's stick a little bit on his tail here. His tail so he can stick. Spider. Also, the resin will help make it solid. It's just using the leftovers to do something with it too. Doesn't hurt to. In our character, make it solid. You notice there's some white in there. Now, what we could do is take the hair dryer. And with the stick, what I'm doing is I'm tapping down on, on, on the, or inside the resin, and it's sort of mixing it again. Because there's a little, there's some, it's not bubbles, it's just, it's like a, it turned white. But it, that might just disappear. I don't know, we've never done this with a large scale form to see what it looks like. Like I said, our fish over there, we didn't pull it apart yet. I'm not sure what we're doing with it yet. But what we're gonna do is get the most of, of this resin around here so that it can harden. And, and we can do another pour in this way. We know we got a solid base. Nice to have a lazy Susan working with you. I'll tell you that because it makes a difference. We're gonna let this dry. And then we'll come back and we'll do a second pour. All right, show you what the light looks like on it. I think that looks so cool. All right, so this is going to dry. And the water looks pretty good. <laughs> the epoxy. Don't look like we got any drips going on. That's just good. We're going to do the sides later. So it's so really solid. Maybe put a piece of wood under it. I'm not sure yet. But uh, finger across. All right. All right, so we're doing our last pour. Hopefully our last. We're just gonna let this all leak in there. It's really nice. We didn't get any leaks anywhere, which is really awesome. We added a uh, hundred resin and a hundred of the hardener, and we just added the blue this time to see what it would get. And if we need to, we'll add some more tomorrow. It took about twelve hours to dry, so not too bad in that sense just do like we did before we're just going to tilt it around because it's a lot thicker we might just have to kind of maneuver it in there now again if this isn't thick if this isn't enough uh resin then what we're going to do is we're going to add 
some more, but this is getting pretty heavy. Like it's, it's pretty thick in there. So I can stir up the bubbles. These are relatively large pours that we're doing. We're doing in sections, so um, you'll see the difference when it cures. And again, the resin is really heavy at when it hardens, so it becomes uh, an issue of weight, but that's fine too. This, almost all the resins that we have that we use, well, the, the pour on um, will be uh, basically a, a self leveling. So it being lower here means that everything wants to gradually gravitate to you know the lowest spots. So you just gotta sort of play around with it. And then we have time with this one because it's a big pour. It won't, uh, it obviously won't cure right away, but it will have issues if you don't get it to where you want it to go and, and stuff like that. So that's why I'm sort of just mixing it up. Here we have, plus there is air bubbles. So we want to make sure that we get those out also. And it's, I don't know, it's its not more of an air bubble, it's just more of a milky kind of white. So by tapping it and mixing it at the same time. And I think I'll take the hair dryer to it this time again. But I'll do that off camera because it's, it's pretty noisy. So I'll be back. Hey guys, so here we go. It is done. I just got the, the light on it just to uh, cure it better. So let me know what you think of this one, this project. Just got to paint up the, the sides a little bit better. You got Godzilla happening there. You got a big ass spider. Sorry, this light's going to interfere in that. Big ass spider. He's attacking. And uh, I went all the way around. I got another spider in there with some toxic waste just kind of leaking everywhere. I don't, I think it's cool. You know, hope it sells. You know, one of those kind of things. So yeah, stay tuned uh, for tomorrow. We'll do another one. All right. Don't forget, guys, if I can do it, you can do it. Choose your own path. Thanks for watching.